All right, I've been busy since last episode. I got some more villagers and I finished enchanting my iron, my armor and got a better sword. Pro tip, if you put fortune on your hoe, then you get more carrots from farming these so you don't have to sit here for as long. See, I got like two stacks in five seconds. Anyways, there are a lot of things that we want to do today. We want to beat the ender dragon and we haven't even been to the nether yet. So I think we should just get started. And I've prepared a little area here for this. And I don't have a flint and steel. All right, let's go. There are a few things that I'm worried about the nether one particular biome which i hope we don't spawn in i think we just won the award for the worst nether spawn ever what what is what is this oh i forgot a boat so this is a time where the map is really useful and I see a warp forest over there so we're gonna head that way I think. I didn't think I would be doing scary bridging until we got to the end. One thing I can show you here though is you see how there are two little arrows next to my thing? Well that means that I can actually bedrock bridge. And that's a bit safer, but it's also slower, so we're gonna go back to this one. And we are here. What is that thing? Oh! What? What was that? What? What did it drop? Oh. Not another fox. Looting three. Give me some pearls. Oh, let's go. Here we go. Another pearl. Two pearls. All right, I think we only need one more. And he's not spawning. Here he is. Come on. Let's go. All right, just a few extra ones just in case and then we're gonna head to the fortress. Oh well, 16 is good enough. Well, I see a fortress down here, and that's my portal. So I think it'll be a bit of bridging, but I think we should be able to make it. We do want to mine this gold, though. Alright, well, there are three things we're looking for in this nether trip. The first one is ender pearls. The second one is to not die. So as I was saying, the second one is blaze rods and then the last one is blackstone which blackstone is very important for the vault just like gold and vault rocks are and there is some right here we just need to block off the lava and we want at least enough to make an ender portal shaped blackstone no Oh my god. It's over. Alright, we got 30. We can keep going now. There's the fortress on the right. Uh. Oh, wait. Okay, let's make it up there. Alright, we're almost there. We're finally here, and there's immediately a blaze.
No blaze rod. All right, let's go. There. All right, the hoe. There we go. <gasps> Are you serious? I'm looking around and I can't seem to find where the blaze spawner is. Which is kind of a problem, because that's what we came here for, and I want to get the heck out of here. I'm almost out of food. Oh my goodness. Oh, there we go. Two blaze rods. Please, just give me a blaze spawner, please. Don't do it. Okay, okay. Just a few more. Five. We're so close. Oh. Wow. I found... I found all nether biomes before I found a blaze spawner. This is... This is insane. What are you? What? Soul bead. I see. Nope. I only need one more blaze, please. Okay, I'm gonna have to do the speedrunner thing, where I turn my render distance all the way down, so that things will spawn, and things aren't spawning. This this isn't working. What? I see it. I see it. Oh snap. Oh snap. Oh snap. Okay. Now we run. Run, run, run. How many did we get? Seven. Alright, we're leaving. No. There's more. What? Why is there a blaze there? What? Don't hit me. Oh my god. What is that? No. What did I just get? What? Okay, you know what? Just focus on making it back. We're back. We're back. We're back. Go through the portal quick. Oh. We did it. That took way too long. Oh, shoot. Um, store our valuables. All right. Well, let's just start. At our balcony and we go and it went that way of course now where is it did it break oh my goodness one broke already I'm I was about to go when I realized I don't have a bow which is probably pretty important but I need more books to make bookshelves out of, so I don't think there's any way that I'm going to be getting a good bow anytime soon. If if you are going to go take on the Ender Dragon, though, I do suggest that you bring a bow with you. Power 5, if you can get it from the villagers. But blocks, uh, extra pearls, which we can get in the end, and torches should be all we need for now, other than a bow. Alright, well... Let's just start going towards it. Please don't break. 
Oh my god. Alright, well, I think we're just gonna start digging down here. We can use the mini map to see if we're close. Oh, we found it. Nice. Well, I think we want to go down, I guess. Oh, I see it. Look on the map. What is that? Black Lotus. Golden Apple. Yes. And here it is. I did not bring wood, so I can't set my spawn. Well, let's set a waypoint here. Well, here we go. What? Oh. Oh my goodness. I'm just beginning to realize how unprepared I am for this end fight. No, 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 no. No. Come on. Let's go. Please tell me I didn't look at one. No. Oh my god. No. Are you serious? Oh, okay. Alright, well that's... That's all the crystals. This is why you bring a bow, guys. Cause that was not fun. Now we just wait for it to start perching. Okay, I think it's perching. Go, 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 go. No, what? Alright, here we go. Are you serious? Oh, it's perching again. Are you serious? Bro! Bruh! Well, I have prepared a bed for this stinking dragon because it does not know how to chill. Here we go! Get in quick! Oh god. No! Are you serious? It's like this dragon knows that I don't have a bow. So it's just chilling. It only comes down for five seconds at a time. It's perching quick! Quick! Oh, there we go. Alright, this is it. No! Oh my god. Coming back down. Please, please, please. What? Bro, are you serious? Okay, it's finally coming back down. No. 
No, 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 no. Are you serious? All right, now we wait. Oh, it's coming down already. Here we go. No! What? What keeps hitting me? Oh my god. There, here we go. This is it. What? It's coming back down. Please. What? Oh my god. There's no way. Oh, it's coming down. This is it. Let's freaking go. Let's go. We finally did it. What is this? Epic shader grab bag. We'll keep it, sure. Oh my goodness, look at all those levels that just went through the portal. And there is the dragon egg, which we will get when we come back. Because now, we're gonna go look for the important thing. Oh, and here is... This is what we need to craft the shield, the, the biotite. We're going to take some of that as well. Here we go. Oh, uh, finally, a good end spawn. And let us create... Uh, uh, let us create a waypoint right here so that we know where the end portal is. And so far, the end looks pretty normal, which is unforeseen now one way to find end cities if you are uh, if you're in single player or you're an op is you do slash seed slash seed and you take the seed and put it into one of those seed finder things and it'll tell you where it is and because end city spawning is the same for whether it it's in because end city spawning is the same for if it's in vault hunters or vanilla minecraft so you should be able to find it there but we're just gonna walk around for now because we want to see some of the new biomes i think Whew. oh wait what a ship already we might not be here for as long as i thought oh it's a big end city that is a very big end city all right, hopefully this is all we need. Oh my goodness, what the? All right, well, we start at the bottom and work our way up because we need those shulker shells. All right, while we're here, I need to remind you guys, don't forget to take some purple blocks because we need them if we want to run the vault. These healing potions are going to be very useful in the future, by the way. That is where we want to go. Alright. And this is why we invested in dash at the start. Because, yeah, as you can see, the elytra works very well with dash. Straight through. Oh, I missed. 
Hey. These music discs were not the most valuable thing we found. This gold, even though it's very important, was not the most valuable thing we found. The diamond armor, this elytra, they are not all not the most valuable things we found. The most valuable things that we found while end busting were these potions of instant health and the golden apple. Why? Because there is no healing in the vault. Uh, natural health regeneration is off inside the vault, which means that the only way to regenerate health is with potions of healing and golden apples, and also custom vault items that can be found, but we can talk about that later. Alright, see, the reason I told you guys to bring some purple blocks back with you is because we need them to create the vault altar, which is four obsidian, four purple blocks, and a block of diamond. Which I think that we have just barely enough for with us here. Oh, and by the way, I figured out that if you scroll on top of an item, you can decide how much of it comes into your inventory, which is pretty cool. But nine blocks of diamond in the middle, four obsidian, four purple blocks, and there it is. The vault altar. Bang. Okay, it's not gonna do anything. We have to put in one of our vault rocks. And this is where we start having fun and where it all begins. When we right click this altar with our vault rock, a random number of random items will be assigned for us to have to collect and if we collect all of them then we will get a vault crystal which we can use to enter vaults see this is why i told you guys to keep all the valuable stuff this for this vault crystal we need a saddle 21 ink sacks 56 sand and 12 lapis so we have everything we need here and down there so we can collect that now. And the way to give it to the altar is by dropping it in. And once you have the required amount, it will say complete for that amount. And drop and drop and complete. Oops, it's not going to do anything until we give it the signal boom and complete and there is our first vault crystal and to enter a vault all we have to do is put our blackstone like how our nether portal is shaped so we can actually put it right in front of it if we want to and there we go, we have our vault portal, if that's what you want to call it. And all we have to do, oh, is right click this portal with our vault crystal. And then it'll open and we can enter. Before we end this episode though, I want to put in another one because it's always fun to see what we, oh, a bell, some gunpowder, potatoes. Very interesting. We'll do that next episode because we are out of time. We are out of time for this episode. We did a lot of things in this episode, actually. We got everything we needed for the Ender Dragon, did the Nether, did the End, found an End ship really quickly. I did not find a ship this quickly last time I went to the End. It took me like two hours. But that was off camera, so I guess I'm just luckier on camera. I don't know. The nether might disagree with that. But yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. We got a lot done, and we are ready to enter the vault next episode with a bit more preparation. 
So thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next episode, where we will enter our very first vault. Oh, and by the way, this corner right here always contains something rare, so that's why we want to keep the rare things that we get.